Stick around to see how we took some burnt popcorn and created a cute summertime craft for you and the kids. I know, Kimmy, I couldn't believe how cute this turned out as well. Stay tuned. What a wonderful What a wonderful world. Hey, Creative Army. It is Cheryl, the activity author, and I want to welcome you guys back to my channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to stick around, just hit the subscribe button to see every time I post. All right, so everything that you're gonna need in, is in the description box of this project. But first, I started out with some blue construction paper and I decided to draw what I think is my best version of a pineapple. So try to draw like a football shape. I think that's the best representation for it. Shape with a flat bottom. <laughs> so now for the leaves of the pineapple, you're going to use whatever you got around the house. You can use some construction paper, foam sheets. I actually found some artificial leaves that I had from a fake flower around the house. So I'm gonna use that and yeah. So you're gonna see in this project that I am using actual real items and items that you would not necessarily always see in art. So this is gonna be really fun. All right, so now that you've drawn and sketched out what your pineapple is going to look like, take some glue and you're going to spread it in the middle of your pineapple. Now make it as chunky, as full as you can because you want your popcorn to be able to stick to this and not move. So make it as thick as you can. And now take your old burnt popcorn. See, you never thought you'd have use for burnt popcorn by throwing it in the trash, right? Well, I found you some use to make some art. So go ahead and take your popcorn, put it all over, and there's my daughter going in. She is putting it and it doesn't matter, no rhyme or reason. Just try to tell kids to keep it inside of your parameters that you've drawn out. Now, if you're in a rush, you could also use hot glue like I'm showing you here. Hot glue um, will make this project much quicker because you don't have to wait for it to dry for long periods of time. Um, and what you can do is also stack the popcorn on top to really make this pineapple three-dimensional and pop out. Now, the next step we're going to do is we're going to paint um, the popcorn because I just wanted it to have more of a burnt look. And you know pineapples are kind of brownish. So we painted some tan um, on top of our popcorn to really just make that pineapple come to life. And then we're gonna take it a step further. I gathered some sand from my neighborhood clubhouse. We have like a little uh, volleyball court here. So I went and grabbed some sand when we went to the playground one day. And I said, we're gonna put some sand on this pineapple because I really want this beach effect, you know? So after you finish putting your glue down, go ahead and grab your sand. Here is my sand. And I'm going to just shake it all over the glue. I have another paper underneath to catch any fallout from the sand because sand can be messy. And you might want to do this outside if you really want to be neat because, you know, kids can get messy with this. So pat that sand deep down in there. And then shake off any excess you have on your construction paper like I'm doing right there. All right, so we're almost done guys, but we gotta make the water. What's the beach without the water, you know? <laughs> so you're gonna go ahead and take some paint. We're using three different types of blues and a white, and I'm dragging it through my sponge brush just like this. And then the paint is just, oh, nicely chromatically on there. And I am going to just spread it on to give a nice little layered kind of three-dimensional faded, I don't even know what to explain this, <laughs> but it looks cute, right? And then we added a sun and that is it, we're done. Cute, right? So don't you forget to hit that like button because I know y'all like this. Very creative, very cool. And then hit that subscribe button too and that notification bell so you know every time I post. Ooh, look how beautiful she is amazed. I'm amazed as well. But guys, if you love this craft, please let me know. Comment below and I will make some more awesome, uh, non-traditional creative crafts for you guys this summer so you can have some fun in the sun. And guys, don't forget to check out all my other videos. I have lots more where this came from and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.